And here we go, here we go. John Numbers, House of 3000's very own against Mr. E. The lone Lucina left in bracket. Final destination, it certainly will be for one of these two competitors. But uh, you know what, go ahead and uh, kick back. Hope you got yourself a snack in the interim. This one, uh, if what I hear Dill and Devin and uh, all the House of 3000 staff, if what, if what they have to say is true, we might be here for a while. So, nothing wrong with that. John Number is always an entertaining guy. And some clinical Wii play to go along. Wii, Wii Fit play, I guess I should say, to go along with it. Dash attack, slide on through, slide in them DMs. Grabbing the forward throw, and yeah, this is just clinical stuff from Mr. E, as consistent a player as you will find anywhere in the world, much less in the tri-state region. The neutral B gets him up to 150. However, this is final destination. Gonna take a little bit more than that. Tried to get cheeky with the uh, with the shield break. Is made to tech and does so successfully. Yeah, you know what? We're not doing play-by-play -play here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to be analytical, but that is uh, not my forte, and I will be completely honest with you on that front. Not a whole lot to analyze about a straight-up sun salutation to the face. You don't want to stare right into that thing, son. You'll burn your eyes. Mr. E, neutral air, trying to uh, trying to go John Numbers into any approaching option. But John Numbers, as patient as you will find in terms of players in Smash, uh, certainly in the New York area. Dancing Blade, get Numbers off the stage. At forward tilt, I mean, Wii Fit Trainer is uh, definitely a notable character in this game, and maybe not top tier. Maybe not even, uh, I mean, certainly competitively viable, but definitely one of the more interesting ones in terms of the functionality of the hitbox. It's not necessarily something that you can pick up and know right away what they are going to do, as Mr. E will eventually pick up that first stock. And now, Numbers gets grabbed, and oh, this is a bad situation all of a sudden. You never want to find yourself above the uh, above the Blade of Lucina for all that long. And John Numbers practiced enough to uh, find a way out of that particular predicament. However, might find himself in another one very soon, Mr. E. Not going towards uh, John Numbers all that much at all. Mr. E gets tagged with the hula hoop. That is not a sentence I thought I would say today, folks. I'm not even going to lie to you. Dash attack. Puts Mr. E off stage. Looking to get the header with the medicine ball. However, you know what? That's why you do your squats, folks. You get down airs like that. And all of a sudden, John Numbers with a... Not commanding lead, but certainly sizable enough to where Mr. E, the onus is upon him. Have to make something happen. Luckily, you are Luciana. You have the tools with which to do it. Making John Numbers mix up his recovery enough and just waiting at the ledge, imposing with that blade in hand. It has a name, and I'm sure that someone will be able to tell it to me. I'm sure it's about John. Falchion? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The thank you, uh, Devin, in production, as always, being the lifesaver that he is. Nevertheless, it's John Numbers. You don't need no sword when you got a medicine ball. And Mr. E makes a fool of me immediately, as he does every time we play friendlies. So, sitting at 45%. He'll try to tack things on. However, John Numbers is efficient on offense. As you might imagine, we're going to talk about the efficiency and the cleanness of the movement of Mr. E, but John Numbers, I mean, to get this far with a character as unorthodox as uh, you might think, still doing just fine for himself. Oh my, the tilt! Catching Lucina in a precarious spot, and all of a sudden, John Numbers finds himself up.
by a score of one to nil. And that might have taken a while, but certainly time flies when you're having fun and watching an unpredictable, uh, unorthodox player, I would say, like John Numbers, someone who has practiced the Wii Fit uh, character for quite some time. I could have just said Wii Fit Trainer, but you know what? I'm getting, uh, I'm getting cute with it. I don't care. It's uh, someone has practiced with Wii Fit as John Numbers is, and certainly has been for years now, ever since the Smash 4 days. Oh my, yeah, okay, we're just playing that game at the ledge. Trying to get something cute off. Not going to succeed, but making John Numbers work for him. Now Mr. E with the advantage. That down air is actually going to send uh, John Numbers upwards. kind of vibing with this music, not gonna lie, but we're still going to do our duty nonetheless. Mr. E, back air going to be shielded upon. The other area will not. That back air certainly will not. The red light lies, however, Numbers is still alive. Seeing at 110%, however, is John Numbers. Not the best situation in the world, but simply got caught too much by those, uh, by those advancing disjointed hurt boxes. Now, trying to two-frame, do anything with that down tilt. John Numbers, well, yeah, eventually the down tilt comes out. Numbers can't wait there forever. Try as he might. Getting a lot of mileage out of these stocks. However, the warranty might have run out on that first one for Mr. E. John Numbers is going to find himself at 148% and not for long. Yeah, John threw himself off stage to wait out the invincibility, but got nicked by the last hit of that second Wait. hit for Nair. Can they, can they actually hear you on stream? Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness! Uh. I'm sure they heard that! They certainly <laughs> saw it. Again, don't skip leg day, folks. Also do yoga. Is that what Wii Fit Trainer is, a yoga yeah. instructor? All, all she does is yoga. That's why she can go Kaioken. She has Haman breathing. It's crazy. Is that what yoga teaches you? <laughs> yes. Because I did. I mean, I did yoga for a while, and I didn't learn any of that. I, don't, I can't like. I haven't attained any superpowers. I'm ashamed to say. All right. Anyway, uh, E closing up this gap as much as possible, uh, racking quite a bit of percent on numbers here. Uh, minute, playing pretty safe. 40 damage, not a real big deal. Uh, if he's able to secure this kill, he'll be right back in it. Absolutely right, and the Nair again, John Numbers caught perhaps being a little careless with the approach. Yeah, you do not want to face Lucina like that at ledge. You know a back air is in your future, and indeed that second stock is in the past. Yeah, actually catching with a Trump back air, something that's a little bit rarer to see in Ultimate. Yeah, but I mean, you got to be ready with it at the, at the hand, and certainly John Numbers Finding himself in a position to take advantage immediately upon uh, catching up, dropping off the angel platform, gets the juggle. You can see where like he baited him uh, yeah. with one move before he get landed the back air, where he went up. Yeah, and we saw the setup there we go. with the up air, and eventually pops, saving the jump. Beautiful patience again by John Numbers, who is up two to nil, and Mr. E all of a sudden on the ropes. Will this be his final destination? It might be with just the the rate that Numbers has been going at E with. And even right now, already 90% uh, dealt to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Numbers throwing out down airs, getting cute with the ball. Doing those, uh, doing those ball stalls. I'm not really sure if that's a term, but I'm making it one. Oh yeah, no, he stalls a lot with the header. Yeah, it, it's great because like having multiple ways to mix up uh, your landing speed really just makes people have to guess. There's no timing anymore. All right. Certainly gets cute with it, and uh, pretty effectively so. John Numbers. We've seen him do some amazing things with that particular side beat. Now, trying to catch the landing eventually does. Mr. E's feet, I don't even think, touch the ground there before getting caught by the back air and securing the first stock. John Numbers seems to have Mr. E's number here, but uh, certainly there's got to be a way for Mr. E to get back into this. And now. Oh, 
Down tilt. Going to find himself in a precarious position here. Mm -hmm. However, with fully charged Sun Salutation, you gotta think he's gonna try to bait out an option. Or bait him to drop the shield as he did before. I mean, that point blank Sun Salutation was how he wound up taking that first stock. To begin with, wow. oh, deep breathing. Maybe he went a little too deep, and Mr. E able to recover, get his feet settled on the ground. And he's able to take the first stock off of John Numbers. Oh, so my God. Oh, my gosh, the footstool. Excuse me. John showing Mr. E a little bit of Mr. E. Oh, my goodness. John Numbers is absolutely ridiculous, and I love him. Oh. And it's amazing because after the showing, John Numbers is an incredible player. Streaky at times, yeah. I would say is a fair assessment. But, I mean, his play as of lately, his run of form is nothing to shake a stick at. Yeah, no, he's been Going doing on. fantastic lately. And right now, with like already more than a full stock lead, just building that damage. Although he has something to say about that just a little bit. Keeping the percents even, but he's going to have to start taking the lead in this raid because he needs to take the, even up that stock. No, you're absolutely right. Now, all of a sudden... Oh. oh. Mr. E. Gonna try to find his way back into this set, even though he is on his tournament stock. Again, Sun Salutation keeps getting caught by that. It's not gonna get a kill, but it's gonna pile on just enough damage Ooh. and provide enough knockback. Back throw. That was a great read by both of them. Like, E looking for that tech chase and numbers, like, just trying to get as far out of dodge as possible. That They're was fantastic. They're both so impressive, and we just saw John Numbers do something that we do not see a lot from Mr. E, almost paralyzing him into a state of, you do not want, I don't want to commit to any option because I don't know what you're going to do anymore. <laughs> John Numbers, it's yeah. amazing how he can get that out of an individual who is as practiced and as consistent as Mr. E. Is this the last ledge guard he'll have to do with this set? Mr. E says no. He's got some fight left in him. Forward throw. Charge Sun Salutation. Oh, that's oh, wow. not quite going to do it. Doesn't Looking have for an this. Air dodge. And that's he it. will pay the price for it. John Numbers. 3 0 over Mr. E. Good stuff from John Numbers. I mean, what we've seen from him thus far, and again, taking out one of the more consistent mm -hmm. players in all of Tri State. Uh, you've seen him uh, week after week after week, and sometimes it's just not there for John Numbers, but he is firing on all cylinders right now. I mean, what is the difference for him? 